Hi guys, welcome back to Informed Beauty. I really, really apologize. I have been really, really bad about posting videos. And part of it is because I got really sick with the flu and I was down for the count for about two weeks. Um, and I was really busy with work again. So again, I really apologize. Um, I have some catching up to do. Uh, so today I'm going to be doing a review of my May Ipsy bag. Um, plus it did come in late and part of the reason um, why this video is going to be a little bit longer and why there's going to be a giveaway is because this came in late. And I'll explain what I mean at the end of my video once I review the products. Uh, so bear with me. Let's open this up. First of all, actually before I open it, um, I like this bag. It's cute. When I saw it online, um, I wasn't a huge fan of it because you know how they post previews of Ipsy bags before you get them. Um, so I was like, nah, it's kind of meh. But when I got it in person, it looks a lot better in person. It's see-through, it's a plasticky bag, and it's got little cute ice creams and popsicles on it. The only thing is I would say is that this reminds me more of a summer bag, not a May bag. Like May seems too early for a bag with ice creams on it. Like to me, this should be June, July, August, not May. So the theme to me didn't make complete sense, but um, maybe that's just me. So let's get started. So the first product that I got in my May Ipsy bag is this Addisi New York. I apologize if I'm not pronouncing it right. Um, organic infused nail lacquer. So it's a nail polish. And I'll show you the packaging first. Initially, I thought this was a bait, like a, either a base coat or a, or, um, a top coat, um, but it turned out to be nail polish. And it's in this very pretty light blue, pastel blue color. And let's see if I can find the shade is called Surfer Girl. So I already have the exact same shade essentially from a Sally Hansen Insta Dry. Um, nail polish that I got way back. So this is kind of like a a second version of the color. I'm still going to use it. Um, I wanted to compare the um, the formula between the, the Sally Hansen one and this one. Um, I can't really tell a huge difference except for the fact that the Sally Hansen one dries faster um, and applies easier. It's not as liquidy. I find I really don't like nail polishes that are very uh, runny and this one is a little bit on the runnier side. So I find it harder to apply than the Sally Hansen Insta Dry. And the Sally Hansen Insta Dries are my always, always my absolute favorite nail polishes. Also, I just realized how terrible the lighting is. And again, I apologize. It's raining outside and I still don't have the best lighting equipment. Or <laughs> I should say, I don't have proper lighting equipment. Um, so I kind of depend on the the light that comes out of the window or the light that's in uh, the apartment. So my apologies, in time, the quality will improve. So next up we have is the Pure Lust Extreme Matte Tint and Velvet Kaylin Liquid Lipstick. And I have to say that um, when I first got this, I thought that it was just a regular um, like a lip gloss with a lot of color to it because when you apply it it won't be very visible on camera but it's this like nude browny purpley pink color um, when you first apply it it's quite shiny and it takes a while to dry down to actually feel like a matte liquid lipstick so initially when I put it on, I'm like, oh, it's a lip gloss, except it has a lot of color. Uh, but it turns out that it is a liquid lipstick, and I find that this is too drying for me. So with the Tarte liquid lipsticks that I have, and with the other liquid lipsticks that I've received in Ipsy bags or I've purchased, I find them more comfortable to wear. But this Kaylin one, I find too drying. Like my lips just feel like they are like ready to split apart. Like they're, I don't know, they just feel super dry, super taut. I don't really enjoy wearing this as a result. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll put a, a like a lip gloss underneath or I'll put a lip gloss or some sort of moisturizing lip item on top uh, to make it feel better. But I feel like it's too much work. Um, and the other thing that I want to say is that Ipsy keeps sending me the exact same color for lip things. 
So I think I need to go back into my profile and change what my preferences are for colors or something because I keep getting the same fall like brownie purple colors. I like to get some other colors as well. Not that I don't like this one. It's just that I want more of a variety. So that's that. And next up is a sample of the It Superhero Cosmetics Mascara. So I've heard amazing things about this mascara um, from other YouTubers. And I was really excited to get this in an Ipsy bag. So when I first tried it, I wasn't super impressed with it, but then I kept using it and I've decided that I really, really like it. I have it on my lashes today, so I'm just going to take my glasses off. Um, I'm not sure how visible this is going to be given my a lack of proper equipment, but I find that it gives my eyelashes a decent amount of length and a decent amount of not width but like thickness so they look thicker they look fuller it almost looks like i have some fake like single eyelashes that i put into uh, like on my eyelid so that is quite exciting to have found this mascara and it's in this cute little sample tube um what i like is that this kaylin even though i don't really like the the actual formula it's exciting that they do give you like full size lip stuff from time to time, and a full size nail stuff or nails, nail polish, as it's, I should say. Um, next up is the Manicadar Beauty Bronzer Highlighter. Um, this stuff I was not super impressed with when I swatched it. I don't remember if I actually put it on my face yet. The Manicadar, I think I got a highlighter slash um, blush slash eyeshadow a few months ago in, in my in an ipsy bag and i really liked that it was amazing it was actually a legitimately very good formula i find that this formula does not perform as well it's not well i don't know now that i'm swatching it right now it doesn't seem too bad but i just don't it's kind of patchy it doesn't seem to have as much oomph to it as that highlighter that i really liked um i'll give it a try and see how i like it or what i think about it so I'm going to put this aside. And next up is this Luxie Beauty Brush. So this I haven't used yet. And this is actually the first time that I've ever received a makeup brush in my uh, subscription Ipsy bag. This is the Luxie 660 Precision Foundation Brush. So here it is right here. It's not as soft as some of the e.l.f. brushes that I've had. Or maybe, now that I'm feeling it, it does feel quite soft. Um, I have yet to try that it's meant for foundation. I feel like I could use this for a highlighter more, but I'll try it and see what I find it best for. Um, it's a very cute color, too. Like It's a super adorable. It's like a purpley violet pink color. Um, and Brushes is something that I'm always open to getting more of. I mean, as you can tell in the background, I do have a lot of brushes. Um, and I don't use half of them, to be honest with you. But half of the time is it's because I get busy and I don't have time to experiment and use them as much. And I start to use my fingers. Um, but I do really um, appreciate getting a brush or, or two um, in a Nipsey bag from time to time. So that is all of the products that I got in my May Ipsy bag. And the theme, I forgot to mention the theme this month. It was your summer story starts here. There are 93 days, 15 hours, and 47 minutes of summer. Are you soaking them up? And then it keeps talking more about the May Glam bag. Um, but it's just a cute little card. It's like an introduction to summer, even though to me May is still like spring transition to summer, but not summer, summer. Um, but maybe that's because I live in Alberta and it's not necessarily like summer weather all the time in May. Um, but I want to get to the giveaway. So what happened was my Ipsy bag in May was taking longer than normal to get to me. And I was checking my tracking and it looks like the bag was stuck in Ontario. Like the way that they had described where the bag was, it seemed like it had left Ontario or left in Mississauga in Ontario and then it came back. Or like it never left, it was stuck in Ontario. So I emailed Ipsy 
And um, to make the story short, they essentially decided to send me another bag, an identical bag with products in case I never got the original bag that they sent me. So I ended up getting both. And the other bag that I got is not in the official May themed Ipsy bag, but it has the exact same products in it that I just reviewed for you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be giving away this bag to one lucky reader, <laughs> reader, I don't know what's wrong with me today, to one lucky subscriber. Um, so this could be, maybe you've never subscribed to a makeup subscription box, maybe you've never tried Ipsy and you want to try it out, or you got a different, or you got different products in your Ipsy bag and you want, you like the products that I reviewed or you're curious to try them. It doesn't matter if you have Ipsy or you don't. Um, it's just if you're interested in receiving these products. This is only open to Canada and the US. I apologize, it just it makes it a little bit difficult to ship it to anywhere in the world um, price-wise. So we will keep it to Canada and the US this time. So I'm gonna give this away to a person, the first person who posts under my comments or under my video in the comments. Um, and I want you to tell me what your favorite makeup brand is and why in the comments. So the first person to say that or to post that under my video will receive this makeup bag, this IPC subscription bag for me. Um, you also need to be subscribed to my channel in order to um, to receive this bag. Let's say if you post, you're the first person to post, make sure that you also are subscribed to my channel. Hopefully that makes sense. If there's any questions, please, please let me know. Um, and I hope that you enjoy the products, whoever you are. I will privately, we'll figure out how I'll, I've never done a, a giveaway before. So we'll, we'll find a way to, to get in touch and I will send this bag to you. All right. Thank you so much for listening, you guys. I'm planning on making a few other videos today. So hopefully those will come up or will be posted in the near future. And enjoy your day. Bye, guys. Don't forget to subscribe.